Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and welcome to the eCraft Back to School Blog Hop. And today I am putting together a teacher's gift. Now I always like to give the teacher a little something on the first day of school just to kind of say to them, welcome back and we appreciate all the hard work that you do. And it just so happens that my son is going to have the same teacher for first grade that he did for kindergarten. He's in a looping class this year. So we already are very familiar with his teacher, so it makes it a little bit easier to give her a gift because I know the kinds of things that she likes. And she uh, really enjoys giving the kids stickers uh, for accomplishments and uh, you'll see at the end of the year they'll have like their little pencil boxes full of stickers so I am giving her a little paint can that I got at Michaels it's a, a clear plastic paint can and I'm going to decorate it with some vinyl for her and I'm also going to be making her a tumbler as you know all the teachers they need to have uh, a beverage handy during the class day because it's not like they can just run out and uh, grab a cup of coffee whenever they feel like it. Um, so I'm going to give her the paint can with a bunch of stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree and a tumbler cup. So on the screen here you'll see that I have um, the groundwork laid out for my file. I used for her name, I used a types, uh, font called LD Typeset and that's from Lettering Delights and then also from Lettering Delights from the Desk Supplies um, cut its files. These are all single layer files. I am using the scissor and the glue bottle. And I'm actually going to turn this file into this, a three color file that can be used on that paint can. And I'm also going to use the exact same file on a tumbler. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I may end up doing that in a second video because I think this might get to be a little bit too much for one video. So let's go ahead and get started on um, turning these basic shapes into um, our three layer design. So to start with I took the glue bottle here and if you notice on here I have the word glue on there. And what I'm going to do to do that is very easy is I'm going to copy it and then do a paste in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and select a font and I'm going to select the um, Modern Sans font from Lettering Delights and I'm going to add the word glue and I'm just going to go ahead and size this down a little bit and I'm going to place it right over the glue bottle and kind of get that centered as best I can that looks about right there and with my font selected I'm going to do a sh hold down my shift key and I'm going to click on the top layer there and I'm just going to do a join and now you'll see that I actually have this layer that has the word cut out and then this bottom layer so when I go to cut this whatever my bottom layer is is going to be what shows through now um, for the font this is also very easy to do all we're going to do on this is we're going to split the letters and I'm not going to show you exactly what, but I just went every three letters and I would take out letters as needed so that when I cut this out, I'm actually only cut, I'm not cutting out all the layers, all the letters in the vinyl I'm trying to conserve on the vinyl. So I am using each letter is only going to be one layer of vinyl. And now for the scissors. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. And I'm actually going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. But I am going to go ahead and put my cursor on the mat here. And I'm going to bring in a basic shape. Um, the rectangle actually works really well for this. And I'm going to bring this over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the scissor portions of it so that I leave just the handles but you know what before I do that I also need to do a copy and paste on this so let's go ahead and copy paste in place and then we're gonna go ahead and just layer this rectangle right on top and we're gonna use our boolean join feature once we got this lined up just right I'm gonna angle it 
move it the angle just a little bit more I think I'm going to use my keyboard keys to kind of get it in there better I think I went a little bit too far there there we go so now I'm going to select that rectangle and the top scissors and I'm going to go ahead and go to boolean joy which is control U and I'm going to select B minus A right let me just double check that Actually, no, A minus B's because I want to leave this handle. So I want to see this the darker red. This pinkish area here is the layer underneath it. So let me go ahead and hit apply there. And then I'm going to do that again for this other handle. So let's go ahead and bring in another basic shape, a rectangle. And again, I'm going to have to angle this quite a bit and place it over here. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to take out part of my other handle. I want to make sure that the rectangle is only covering one I want to remove. And if it's, it's not going to cover all of it right now and that's okay. I'll show you how I do that really easy once we get this all figured out here. And I don't have that angle quite right, so let me just fit. You know, this is one of those things that you just kind of have to fiddle around with until you get it where you like it. And then again, select the top scissors, the rectangle, and we're going to do our Boolean join. And there we go. And now I'm just going to select this top rec uh, scissors again, so where the green is right now. And I've got this piece over here that I want to remove, so I'm just going to hit split on this. And I'm going to remove this piece. So now you can see we've got the ground, the everything worked out for how we want our file. And let me just get that nice on view there for you. So, as you can see, when you have a single layer image like this, you really don't need to stick with the single layer image because a lot of times by using that Boolean join feature and make the cut, you can do a lot of things with these files that you couldn't do before. So, that's going to conclude this video. I'm going to start another video to show you um, the next step and how to make, use the new conical warp feature that is in make the cut 3.3.3 to get this on a tumbler so make sure you uh, go to the next video thanks again i'll see you soon